this episode, we will cover the installation of one of our most popular load cells, the ES series. Montalvo ES series load cells come in a variety of sizes, mounting styles, and head types. They all incorporate the use of an integral, high-performance bearing assembly. This compensates for misalignment, roller shaft deflection, and small changes in roller length due to thermal expansion. As you can see in this image, Montalvo offers three mounting styles, standard, flange, and pillow block. And there are three head types available, dead shaft idler roller, live roller, and live shaft. Today's video will cover our most common model that works with a dead shaft idler roller. Installing the ES live shaft model of this series is very similar, but the ES live roller model is different enough that you will need to refer to the ES series load cells installation manual before installing. As you prepare to mount the load cells, be aware that you will need to take into close consideration how the load cells are aligned in regards to the direction of force the web puts on the load cells. The load direction arrow located on each load cell must point in the direction of force due to tension, bisecting the angle formed by the web as it wraps around the roller, as shown in this image. When the installation is complete, double check to ensure that the arrow on each load cell is pointing in the same direction. When you're ready to begin, the first thing to do is to remove the clamp from the load cells. Next, mount the load cells on the machine with the bottom of the idler roller clamp at 6 o'clock so the idler roller shaft can be laid into the couplings. For the standard and pillow block mount, go ahead and secure them to the machine frame. If you're working with a flange mount style, begin by mounting the load cells using the center bolt to aid in alignment and positioning during install if possible. The other four bolts will be attached and tightened after the installation is complete. If you have a shaft size smaller than the shaft required for the load cell, Montalvo can provide a split bushing to fit your shaft. Normally this is completed as part of the ordering process. During the installation, make sure the edge of the bushing is flush with the edge of the clamp on the load cells. and the split should be lined up with the split on the head of the load cells where the clamp brake is. Gently lower the shaft into the load cell coupling. Put the clamps in place over the top of the shaft and gradually tighten the clamp bolts in a crosswise pattern while manually supporting the roller so all of the weight is not on the load cell coupling. While tightening, maintain a 1.5 to a 3 millimeter clearance between the end of the shaft and the inside of the coupling. Sliding a feeler gauge or a standard business card into this slot during and after you have completed tightening the clamp will ensure the gap is correct. If the business card or the gauge does not fit, ensure that the shaft is centered, recenter if necessary, and if the feeler will still not fit, it is likely that the shaft will need to be shortened. At this point, you will need to properly align the load cell orientation. As previously mentioned, the load direction arrow located on each load cell must point in the direction of force due to the tension from the web on the load cell roller. To do this, loosen the load cell mounting bolts 
Carefully rotate the load cell shaft assembly so the load direction arrows on the load cell points in the direction of the resulting force when tension is applied. Tighten all the mounting bolts. Once the mounting bolts are secured, ensure that the coupling clamp part of the load cell can rotate slightly back and forth. This is normal free play in the anti-rotation mechanism inside the load cells. If there is no free play, loosen the mounting bolt on one side and rotate it slightly until the free play is detected and then secure the mounting bolt. If the free play is still not present, it can affect the load cell calibration procedure and overall load cell performance. Last of all, connect the load cell cables and then tighten securely before referring to the controller or amplifier manuals for wiring and calibration instructions. You have now successfully installed the load cells. As always, we ship out instructions with each one of our products, but if you no longer have the original installation manual, then you can download it from our website at www.montalvo.com in the product support section. If you need any additional assistance, please call our customer service line at 1-800-226-8710. Thanks again for watching this video covering the installation of the Montavo ES series load cells. We look forward to seeing you again on the next video in our web tension control training series.